you're watching my movie about fitting a RAM disk to the General Music Gem S2 Turbo or S3 Turbo. It's important to note this RAM disk can only be fitted to the Turbo versions, either shipped by the factory or the first versions that have later been upgraded with the Turbo kit. It's fairly evident if you have a Turbo version, either from the screen at power up or the sticker that's often fitted underneath the model or underneath the floppy drive. Fitting the RAM disk is fairly simple. It does require you to open the keyboard, but you only need one screwdriver and should only take about 10 minutes. Start by turning the keyboard over and remove only the screws shown on the base of the unit. Keep the screws for the back row separate as you'll notice they're slightly different. Now turn the keyboard back over. Be careful as the top is effectively loose, so try and hold it closed. So then just lift up the cover. It's hinged at the back. You might find it takes a gentle persuading around the the floppy area as the plastic sometimes rubs and catches. A little jiggle is normally enough to get it open. Inside you'll find the turbo kit board mounted on top of the motherboard. You'll see four EEPROM slots already filled and four empty slots for your RAM disk chips. Fit your new RAM disk into the four empty slots. Competent electricians will always warn you to discharge your static by touching the metal on something earthed before handling either the RAM chips or the printed circuit board. All the chips should go around the same way Pin 1 should be top left, which is either signified by a dot, or here with a notch at the top. Double check the position of the memory size jumper too. If you have 4 megabit chips, then make sure the jumper is on the top two pins. If you have 1 megabit chips, then move it to the lower position. So that's it, the job's done. But before you screw the case back together, just take a second to inspect the lithium backup battery. It sits underneath the keyboard just by the turbo kit board, and they were only designed to last 10 years. Once they start leaking, like this one, you'll find many horror stories of the acid destroying the motherboard, so make sure if it's leaking and think about replacing it if necessary. That's all there is to it, so now you've got enough info to go make a start.